And a New York Times Siena College poll out this week has Trump with less than 50% support from Republican voters for the first time when asked who they prefer for 2024. With Ron DeSantis, it's a clear second with 25% and shooting up. The trend is very important. Clearly, it has Trump concerned, who unsolicited pronounced the poll fake and phony. So is this fundraising bonanza for DeSantis really just the beginnings of a 2024 fundraising effort? Joining me now is Dan Eberhardt, a Republican donor. Dan, thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Let me ask you this. Do many who are donating to DeSantis for his re-election bid in Florida mm -hmm. believe, expect, know that they may actually be donating to DeSantis' 2024 presidential campaign? Absolutely. I think there's a groundswell of support in the, in the donor community for, for Ron DeSantis. And increasingly, people from outside the state of Florida are wanting to meet with DeSantis, wanting to be in the room with DeSantis, wanting to take his temperature on things. As, they, as people you know, increasingly look past Trump and, and what's next, Ron DeSantis is the name that you keep hearing. You know, uh, Ron McDaniel a couple months ago said, uh, or told me that just the, the amount of interest in Ron DeSantis is, is off the charts. And I think that, you know, the momentum trend is clear. He's clearly la lapping everyone else in, in the pack in terms of people that want to take on Donald Trump and it's showing in the fundraising and in other ways too. Well, it, do people like Ron McDaniel and in the Republican establishment want DeSantis to win over Trump? No, nobody's going to say that yet, or right. most people aren't going to say that yet. But I, I know I they're think, not going to say it. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, look, I think it's clear. I think it's clear with the fundraising trends. I think it's clear with what's going on on social media. And I think it's clear in the polling, as you just alluded to, Ron DeSantis is a, is a force to be reckoned with. And clearly, you know, look, he's matched Trump in, in terms of cash. Save America and Ron DeSantis re-election campaign have about the same amount of cash but, on hand. It's really quite startling. And that, 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 that in and of itself is startling. And so you have yeah. to wonder whether donating to Ron DeSantis' re-election campaign in Florida is just a nice way to support DeSantis in 2024 without overtly admitting that you're seeking to support someone against Trump. Absolutely, and everybody wants to get on that train. And, and, and there's a lot of people that still don't want to anger Trump, but everyone wants to get on that train. And look, Ron DeSantis is going to win his re-election bid easily, absent some cataclysmic well, event. He's going to win by 8, 10, 12 points. He doesn't need this money for re-election. That's not why donors are giving it. Well, let me ask you about that. I mean, because there was a recent mm -hmm. poll uh, that came out that showed him trailing Charlie Crist by under 1%. A, what do you make of that poll? And number two, how important is it for DeSantis to win that election for his 2024 bid? Oh, it's absolutely critical. If he loses his re-election, then he, he has no uh, intellectual basis for running for president or no credible basis for running for president. But look, that poll's an outlier. I can show you, you know, 25 other polls that show him six to 15 yeah. points ahead. He's going to have a 15 to one cash advantage. And Ron DeSantis has the momentum in Florida and nationally and when compared with Donald Trump. And it's I would a great like, place to be this far out. I would like to apologize to Ron DeSantis. Can we put up that poll again? Do you see the picture we used of Ron DeSantis? <laughs> Where did we get this picture from? Who put up this picture of Ron DeSantis? Anyway, <laughs> my apologies, because that is certainly not something that we, uh, that we intended to do. Dan Eberhardt, thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.